Thank you for viewing Western Digital's Knowledge Base tutorial. This tutorial will explain how to create and delete public or private shares on the WDMI Cloud. For assistance with accessing the dashboard of your WDMI Cloud, please see the link to the Knowledge Base article below this video. From the main page of the WDMI Cloud dashboard, in the top of the window, click Shares. On the bottom left, under the About Share section, click the Add a Share icon. In the Add a Share window, in Share Name, enter the name of the new share. In Share Description, enter the description of the new share. Please note, the Media Serving option is off by default on all shares being created. Turning it on will enable the built-in media server of the WDMI Cloud to scan the share for supported media files to stream them to DLNA-compatible devices on your network. Ensure the Media Serving option is set to off unless you have content in this folder that you wish to share with DLNA devices on your network. Once you have made all of your selections for creating your share, click Save. Don't be alarmed, as this may take a few minutes for the drive to update. Once completed, your new share folder will appear with your other share folders on the WD My Cloud. Click the New Share to display the space that the share is using. Notice that Public Access is set to On. To make the share private, in Public Access, click Off. The access to the private share can be configured so that certain users have limited or no access, while others may have full or restricted access to the share. Please note, if you change the share type, it may take several minutes for the share to be updated. Next, you can set the user access on a share. On a private share, the administrator of the network device will have a list of different users that can grant each user with read-write access, read-only, or no access at all. For example, a user may have full access to share A, but not able to access shares B or C. As an admin user, you may want to set the access to full read and write. After setting the share access, the share will update. This may take a few minutes. Deleting a share will erase all files and folders on the share. This process is data destructive and cannot be undone. Once the share is deleted, all data on the share will be lost. To delete the share, select the share and click the Delete a Share icon. When the warning message appears, read the warning message and click OK. Once the share is deleted, it will be removed from the list of shares. Thank you for watching Western Digital's video knowledge base.